What is going on y'all? It is Tyler the Toy Geek, of course, and welcome back to the channel. And of course today we're gonna be, well, actually finishing up my reviews of the Batman, well, the new Batman Adventures from McFarlane Toys. And this time we've got Two-Face, so without further ado, let's crack it open and switch to the other camera angle. Stay tuned. So let's go ahead and check out Two-Face, of course. So here's the front of the packaging. He comes with a multitude of accessories, as all of these do. Got a nice little cool illustration of him on the side, of course, made by DC Direct and McFarlane Toys. And on the back, pretty much more of the same. So let's go ahead and crack them open and check out the accessories. Why don't we? Okay, everybody, let's check out the accessories. And if this comes with this unique stand specific to this wave, I really do hope they include these with the Target exclusive line, but you know, who's to say, I guess. So once again, we get this animated cell reproduction and you can see Two-Face there. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool shot of him actually. On the back of the card, we get a little read up of him. Of course, season one. The episode is Sins of the Father, season one, episode two. Batman and Robin encounter each other for the first time when a street kid named Tim Drake finds himself hunted by the villain Two-Face. So that's pretty neat. And like I said before, you can actually prop these up. So that is a nice touch. Cool little detail, which I think should be kind of an obvious thing is they come with a couple extra hands and that's nice. And what's nice about it is actually they are color coded to which side of Harvey Dent you get. So the other side has blue hands. So that's pretty neat. Also included are a couple of timeless Two-Face favorite accessories, of course, in this episode. There's a gas mask, which time will tell if this actually fits on the action figure's face. I am not sure. Quite small. So we will see. And then he also comes with this briefcase, which, funny enough, you would think, this thing's got to open, right? Well, you'd be in luck, because it does. So a nice little plastic briefcase goes along with him. And what's actually nice about this is I may end up storing some of these extra accessories in there. And another really... And another really tiny accessory that my camera does not want to pick up for some reason. It's this pocket watch. Very tiny. Taking a look at the figure itself, we're going to go ahead and go over the detail real quick. Although I don't find this figure quite as impressive as the Batgirl, it does have its unique qualities. So, obviously, we've got two sides of Harvey Dent, but there seems to be kind of like this oil on it. I don't know. All over the figure. But the suit is kind of made of like a little bit of a softer material, the jacket at least. But yet, yeah, once again, we'll get into the weird articulation, but the suit pops out. And it's quite an interesting figure. I really like the detail on this other side of the face. The other side is kind of meh, generic, but it's supposed to be. But this other side, they went into great detail with that. So I appreciate that. Of course, you got the black and white suit, Harvey Dent special, Har vintage Harvey Dent. Now let's go ahead and talk about the articulation, which I'm a little worried about. Okay, so the head, it's not on like a, a ball joint, but it's just kind of like on a, it just moves left and right. So you have that, the arm only goes about yay, the elbow only goes up about yay, the hand does a 360, no waist articulation that I'm noticing, but once again with this weird leg articulation, I don't know, maybe it's me, but I'm just not fully 100% digging it all the way. It's interesting, but the leg goes up and the leg goes out. So, interesting. I don't know what to make of the articulation. I don't think we can necessarily blame McFarlane for that. He goes about yay, and the foot pretty much just does a 360, so not much in the way of articulation, but we're gonna go ahead and pop out a couple hands, maybe pop these accessories on, see if this gas mask fits his face. I'm not really sure, but we'll find out in a second here. So, surprisingly enough, that gas mask does fit on his face. Not really well, if I'm going to be honest, but it does fit nonetheless. As far as this pocket watch goes, I think it's a matter of, well, how long before I can lose that? If he tips over, I think it's a goner, if I'm being honest with how tiny it is. And then funny enough, so this briefcase, I guess I got to be pretty careful with it, but I am using it for alternative storage. It is kind of rubbery, so it doesn't necessarily fit in his hand too well. 
but maybe if I swap a couple of the other hands, I didn't really even mess with it too much, but there's Harvey Dent, I guess. Take these figures for what they are. They are re-releases as far as I understand, and I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a C plus, I guess. We'll give it a C plus. All right, it's not a bad figure. I do enjoy it for what it is, you know, a unique concept. And I appreciate them for what they are. So C plus it is now. As far as the things I, I do and I don't like, I do like that we got a Two-Face in the collection right off the bat. Didn't have to wait seven waves to get him. That's nice. So the detailing on him is pretty cool. A couple of cool accessories. Nothing too shabby. So now that we got this line out of the packages and I've reviewed them all, you know, do, do I enjoy the wave? Uh to be getting the, am I going to be getting the second wave or not, if there is one, time will tell, I suppose. I, I think I would like to. It'd be nice to build a shelf full of, like, animated series figures and whatnot. They're pretty interesting figures, you know? So if you're interested in picking up something like this, if it kind of tickles your fancy, I guess, go ahead and pick them up at, go ahead and pick them up at McFarland Toy Store, Entertainment Earth, Big Bad Toy Store. I will include links down below if you want to check it out. So... That has been another action figure review with Tyler the Toy Geek, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.